Link Sark, manager of the greatest athletes in the world. How can I help you? I'm Detective Mac Taylor, and this is Detective Danny Messer. We have some bad news, Mr. Sark. Your client, Clay Sandor, he died last... Clay's dead? And that won't make my investors happy. A lot of reactions in my years on the job, Mr. Sark, but I don't think anybody's ever left immediately to investment woes. At least not out loud. Hey, look, I'm upset, but I'm a businessman first. Hey, I gotta take this call in the other room. Do you mind if we look around? Knock yourselves out. This cabinet has some sort of combination lock. Let's see. What do we have here? That's a hefty salary. Guess I need to rethink what a millionaire looks like. Sorry about that. I had to take that call. Just signed a couple of great new climbers. Clay was something special, though. Natural athlete to the nth degree. Sports manager's dream. You make him sound like the next Michael Jordan. Extreme sports? Sure. To watch him move, it was damn near balletic. Trust me, we were going places. I was gonna bring the sport of urban climbing into the limelight, and Clay was our poster boy. Of course, that made a lot of his... How do you make money off urban climbing? I got deals brewing with a half dozen brands. All of them want in when urban climbing hits the front pages of every sporting mag in the country. So in your mind, urban climbing's the next snowboarding or motocross? Let me put it this way. Clay was set to scale famous skyscrapers around the world, unfurling a giant banner once he reached the top. The stunt would undoubtedly be covered in the international press. Imagine the exposure. Now I've got to try to unwind the deals before they sink me. Urban climbing? Really? You don't believe that urban climbing is the next big sport? Well, even the mainstream media is catching on. There's a lot of knuckle-headed testosterone mucking up the sport. Yahoo's without any presence. Clay had the whole package. Body, voice, intensity. He was going to bring the sport out of the shadows and make it mainstream. Clay had rivals. A lot of guys have been living and breathing the sport for years. Every one of them believed they're the rightful heirs to the urban climbing crowd. So yeah, a lot of guys were jealous of Clay. You want to talk to more of these urban climbers? They usually hit an underground hipster joint called the Club Noir in Soho. Funny how a tiny ounce of jealousy blows into a blood feud with these guys. Jealous of Clay and the fame you'd bring him? To put it delicately, the Van Lars twins are the dumbest couple of half-wits this side of the Neanderthals. And because no sports management company in their right mind will sign them, they badmouth Clay any chance they get. When was the last time you saw Mr. Sander? A couple of weeks back, Clay came to me, said there was a family emergency. What kind of emergency? I don't know. He kept it vague, but he needed a sizable advance. Then, gone. But he didn't answer my calls. I had to do a dance of the seven veils just to keep the deals in play. I've never seen that before. Looks pretty worthless. That was part of Clay's mystique. He came from such a dark place to rise to the heights he did. It sure made our sponsors line up. Oh yeah, that thing. I was busting my hump to set up a strategic media push, including a shoot with a famous sports photographer, and I discovered Clay was inking himself. Which meant the photographer couldn't do the shoot until Clay healed, 
meant we had to push the shoot back for weeks. The guy had no head for self-promotion. Oh yeah, those things mark you as part of the pack. You get one after you scale your fifth building, proving you've got stones. Or maybe a couple of loose marbles. Ha <laughs> ha. Climbers have been wearing them for about a year now. Don't mean to brag, but I had one too. Didn't really go with my suit. Keep your eyes open. You'll probably see them around Club Noir down in Soho. Let's just say it was a big ouch, big time expensive. Whatever his family emergency was, I had little choice if I wanted Clay to perform. In other words, you were willing to go the extra distance to make sure Clay did his thing. Mollifying all the investors and unwinding the endorsement deals is a heartbreak and a headache all at the same time. Maybe I should hit Club Noir and try to find a new deal. Who'd have guessed? Today might be the Van Lars Twins' big payday. Looks like someone needs to call a cleaner. Gravity is a cruel master. Pity the physics got between Clay and a promising career. Uh, unless there's something else? I've got some calls to return. No, that should be it. He seems more concerned with Clay's income than Clay's life. He's a manager, what do you expect? Let's try to catch up with these Van Lars twins. Maybe they can shed some light on this for us. <laughs> 